Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play EVE Online. So today we're going to do some level 2 missions here. We're going to use our Vexer. And uh, this was uh, given to me by a court member. Just going over it quickly again here. So we got a bunch of the 200mm uh, light carbine uh, repeating cannons. Uh, four of them. Uh, we got uh, some thermal, uh, kinetic, and explosive armor reinforcements here to just kind of balance out our... Uh, our protection. Uh, we got ourselves a 10MN afterburner. We have uh, the drone here. It makes them go zzz, zips around faster. Got our capacitor recharger and uh, capacitor. And then we have this guy, the, the uh, tungsten plates here. Basically, it makes us a little slower, but it also gives us double the armor, which is pretty badass. Uh, we have another capacitor power relay here. We got uh, this resistance basically for all uh, four types, which is pretty badass. And uh, then we have two enduring armor repairs here, which is pretty good. So it gives us a 62.2 HP a second. And pretty strong little guy. I like this. Uh, though I, I look more and more at further builds in the future that people use. And it's like less and less armor repair they use. And just more pew pew. And it's like, aha. But I like the idea of having, you know, like the, the heavy, you know, armored ship where you could just sit there. And oh, I'm going to go for a nap. You know, like I like that idea. Might not play out that way as you uh, go through the game. You might need to be a bit more roguish. But uh, either way, that's what we have today. So uh, in our drone bay here, we got some hornets. Um, actually, we might need, I, I think the mission we're doing today. Let's start a conversation. Actually, this is a good time. Start a conversation. So if you take this and copy and paste it and you go to uh, wiki.eveuniversity.org and dump it in there, you can usually find out... Um, what uh, the damage is for that if it has some special information like it might be uh, uh, you know like sometimes it's the same mission but then it's like three or four variations like you'll look up here or whatever and it'll, it'll have like or it might even be in the description of the faction you're going against you might need that um, but this one it says basically it's just going to be rogue pirates basically and thermals the best so then uh, we can go and you can look it online wherever thermal uh, basically the hobgoblin is uh, the suggested one for the the thermal damage so then we can go into our inventory here I actually organize this a bit more so you can grab the hobgoblins here and uh, here we go so that's four right I need a, a fifth one I'll just split this one instead five hobgoblins and we can just drop them in the drone bay you can keep the other ones in there too I mean it doesn't hurt this holds lots of uh, light ones the only reason I probably move them around is just so that there's less in the interface. I wonder if there's a way to fix this. I'll show you in a, uh, in a bit one of the interfaces that annoy me. Uh, my drones are level 5 now um, because one of the missions I had a mining one so I actually got myself some mining drones for fun. I'm going to try them out on their own later on anyways but uh, yeah there they are. These uh, mining drones. So they, they were pretty cool uh, doing that for the mission so I just went in with just like our, my normal set of whatever and then I mined with the drones and then they uh, I had to kill the, the mobs that came in uh, after um, it was like a two-parter kind of one, so that was actually worthwhile. So let's go ahead and grab this one and accept that. And uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, so we're going to go to set destination. There you go. Undock, one jump away. Oh, wait, do we have our... I might have not put in our inventory, actually. Oh, no, we do. Okay, I'm making sure. Because the last mission was actually the one I was doing with the... Um, the mining so I didn't bother bringing that along because uh, I wouldn't have had enough space for the ore I needed like two or three thousand of the ore itself so it was uh, I had enough space in the cargo just not with that in it as well um, okay so let's go ahead and jump Orb drive active. he's a bit of a heavy little ship so it takes a, a bit to get that uh, warp vector uh, established but once you get it it goes really well We'll just jump here. Oh, actually, it'll jump on its own. <laughs> of course. I knew that. Oh, yeah, so this is your drone stuff, your interface here, right? 
I wish you could put this down here and the drones in space up top. I do not know who invented such a maddening system. I don't know if there's a, even a way to, you know, way to change it or anything like that. It's just, it's just, it's a very maddening system. That's all I can say. It's just, uh, it does not work out well for me. So let's see what ammo is thermal. I might not even have thermal ammo, but uh, you're not thermal. You're not thermal. I didn't bring any thermal ammo, apparently. What's the uh, second best thing here? Eh, thermal. It's all thermal. My weapons are going to kind of suck a bit here. That's all right. Um, we'll just leave whatever is on there, I guess, instead. And uh, we'll just leave live with that, right? Um, so, yeah. Oh, and here they go. Wow. Oh. At first, I thought they were, like, a couple feet away. I'm like, ah, eh, that's going to hurt. Oh, they're pretty close, though. Okay. So let's go ahead and approach. So we need to, yeah, we can just double click in space. So this is going to be interesting. These guys are going to hurt a bit. I can tell you that right away, but we should be fine here. The best way to do this is go ahead and get yourself aggroed first before. Wow. This one actually might hurt more than I thought it would. They're the missile kind of guys. They, those guys kind of hurt quite a bit here. Well, the good news is they're all on us, so we can go ahead and launch our drones and start the attacks right away. So there we go. We'll hit F here, and we'll send them on their way. They're pretty slow, so we should be okay, but obviously, uh, obviously this is going to hurt a bit. I'm just going to head towards them instead of, uh, the, the, the missile guys, I don't think they really miss much. I think that's more when you're dealing with guns and stuff, so I could be wrong, but, uh, I feel like with this one, I'd just rather go in there and, uh, kind of kick ass here if I can. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you go after that, I'll go after it as well. I'm only using one repair, by the way, so... As you can see, I'm not maybe that worried. Oh yeah, of course my drones and space was minimized. See what I mean about that? It gets a little uh, annoying. Uh, we should probably just drop this, by the way, launch for self. Usually I launch that right at the beginning of the mission, but I was thinking maybe I'll go to a certain destination. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do, so uh, that, that puppy will start tractoring it towards them, so... Uh, I know what some people do. I've seen this, which is not a bad idea, is they orbit this. So they keep a distance from this, and then they just do their thing. So that that's actually not a bad idea, to be fair. Um, so let's attack you. I'm going to just shoot you. What's the range on these ones right now? Okay, they're actually not too, too bad range, but um, obviously I have the wrong ammo. That ammo must have been the more expensive ammo because... I more than likely would have probably gone ahead. Oh, look at this. When you right click, you can actually see the types. Okay, that's pretty badass. I did not realize that. So you can see what their weakness is, right? So it doesn't matter there. So they're really good at EM. They're really weak at explosion. But uh, wait, their armor is... What the? Okay, something is wrong with that data. So explosion would be actually not a bad thing to have here. Um... Yeah, let's get a nuclear one here. Look at that explosion. That'll that'll do a bit more damage. At this point, my drones are just on their own. I don't. I'm gonna let them go. As long as you've taken the original aggro, you're probably more than fine. It's when you don't have the aggro, they uh, they tend not to do so well. So, uh, no, I wanted you guys to go elsewhere because I'm having fun with this guy with my own gun. But we should probably do a bit better now with these these guns. Oh, did I switch? No, oh, never mind. I must have switched the target accidentally at one point. Oh, well. There you go. Drones, you can go to that one. Honestly, this ship is pretty badass. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry about it too much here. You just go around and do your thing. There you go. Might as well head over here anyways. Uh, 
There you have it. So if I'm right, it's probably a drop from one of these guys. I don't think uh, stop the blah, blah, blah. Okay, so stop the objective, blah, blah, acquire. Blah, okay, so thief, small, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think we're just going ahead and dealing with that. I don't think we have to deal with the structures. There's some structures here, but I don't think we're dealing with those. So I think we're good to deal with this guy right here. He might even have it right now or might have been the last guy we killed, to be fair. Oh, we already got the reports in my inventory. Never mind. Forget that happens, you know. It kind of throws you off because it's like, it's magical. Okay, let's look at this. Can we look at the lock target or look at it? I want to look at it. Look at it. There you go. Oh, it's being tractored in right now. See? And they track her, tractor it in a pretty good speed too. So basically, this is what it does: goes ahead, grabs your, you know, your your loot, trackers tractors it in. Obviously, if you know you have this closer to where you're fighting, probably is going to be a little faster too. So um, that's pretty good. So just just the loot itself right now. This is not a good one. Obviously, sometimes these ones like level twos, I can get like a million plus loot in it. Sometimes they're usually not the best but anyways um so we can go ahead we can loot all that and now this is the fun part basically you can go ahead here and you can just mark all these or you know, as many as you want now this is up to you if you want to do this so we're gonna do uh by the way you can hit shift r i think it was or is it tr yeah shift r you can return them in there though you can't really you know uh, launch you know particular drones out um so you got to make sure you pick it but what you can do here is i don't even think you can do like per target drone so what I usually do here is I just go salvage and then I go salvage now doing one on a time is probably gonna be a little well it, it's gonna be faster for that one but this one I find a little just more more interactive probably overall a little faster because if you send five of them see how that one's already done I mean if I sent five of them out there uh, one guy more than likely I mean it could have happened the same time or whatever I just I find this one seems to work a bit better because then you're not you're having less less of them idle basically but uh, that's that's how I do it anyways and I like it you don't need a salvage obviously I just find salvaging to be a fun thing I just I happen to enjoy it so um, now that we are uh, we are an Omega for for now anyways I don't know if we'll make it to uh, be able to pay for our own Omega and uh, you know I got like two weeks worth or whatever there but uh, um, I don't know if I'll make it on my own to that point because it's just you know it takes a lot of time and I don't really go for the the most maximum isk making possible stuff you know I'm not going in a null sec or I'm not you know doing this and that and some of my skills are a bit weak too right so but I'm having a blast anyways. I guess my next, you know, uh, challenge eventually would be to doing like the level uh, threes. Even this though, I mean, this kicks pretty good ass in most level twos. I don't think I've had really any issues. This might be even considered slightly OP for level twos. But at the same time, I, you know, I, I would want something quite overpowering. Uh, honestly, like I like that, you know, I don't want to be, you know, having to worry, I guess, so... You can send multiples on there if you want to get them done faster, obviously, when you're at the end here. Anyways, we might as well pick up this. You can probably right-click and pick it up like this. Uh, scoop into cargo hole because it's not obviously looting anymore. You want to make sure you always pick that up. Uh, so look at that. We've made $7 million. No, we haven't, unfortunately. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. So let's see. Salvage sometimes is hit and miss. Probably going to be pretty hit and miss here. Actually, you know, that's not bad. 317 k I mean, it's not amazing, but you know what? It's kind of... I'm kind of like a bit of a slow. I'm not like, there's people with blitzies. Like they would have done this and been on another one and maybe even already on their way back. Like they're that fast when it comes to blitzing. Uh, sort of funny term because I, I saw people using it and it reminds me of a game called Anarchy Online. And that was a term that we did a lot. We blitz for nanos and uh, things like that. It was mostly, I think, for nanos where, you know, you can do it for your concrete pillows. They, they were stat buffs and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, so you'd blitz, uh, you'd, you'd go ahead and blitz it. You'd actually use a third-party program that they allowed you to use. And basically, um, you'd roll these missions until the, 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 the icon pop up of the, the, the item that you want to get or whatever. It would just keep blitzing them, you know, just keep, you know, randomly going through it. Um, anyways, long story short, um, basically it's the same idea. You'd run the missions as fast as possible, do the objective of what you're supposed to do, nothing else kind of thing, and just get it done and over with. And so that's kind of what you do uh, with blitzing in this. And they have, uh, especially 
if you're more new like me, what you can do is uh, you can actually use the, there you go. Well, that's like some log off thing. I don't. Anyways, um, you can use the wiki. So it even says, um, kill the thief warp out. So basically, uh, there was one frigate. He was the thief. And uh, he had the reports on him. And literally, if you were to kill him and loot him, we would have been done like that. And that that's what blitzing is. And people do that because uh, a lot of missions, uh, especially like level 4 and plus, it's not really about the isk you're making. Obviously, to me, it's, you know, I find I get a lot of isk. But it's actually this loyalty points that you get is actually where you're getting a lot of the isk. So there was something I had here before, which I, I showed you before. I'm going to look at this again because it's been a while, honestly. Um, I don't even know. I guess you're, you're working for these guys. So who are these guys here? Are they the federal? Yeah, so member of the... So who am I working for for these guys? I'll check in a second here. Anyways, let's go ahead, start conversation. And let's complete that. There you go. So there we have that done. And then let's show information on this guy. So I haven't done a ton of this, to be fair. But uh, federal administration. Okay, so federal... Yeah, there you go. They have their own federal administration. And then... Oh, this is interesting. You got to say where you are, I guess. What what region am I in then? Oh, um... Oh, there you go. That's the, the region. So when I'm using this tool, there you go. And then select corporation sell, select corporation buy prices. Uh, well, let's check sell, I guess. Okay, so... Um, okay, so something here. Federal Navy Tungsten Charge Large, I guess. Um, what is that anyways? Federal Navy Charge... Is that like a... I don't even know what that is. Is, is that... It sounds like ammo, but this is not like worthwhile. I think it is ammo. Okay. Apparently, it's uh, ammo that uh, you get from this one. Okay. Here you go. Uh, this is the ammo. So, um... I don't know how well it would do. It's not obviously great here, but uh, this day guy's selling a hundred thousand of them. He's listing it at that price, and uh, it ain't going for anything right now. So, uh, so five thousand charges. Oh, and it has other costs to it too, right? So, quantity five hundred. Yeah, five thousand. Sorry, let's do this. Five thousand, and then um, let's just do it his price times. Oh yeah, he's. Pricing it way too high, I think. 13 mil. Yeah, you're not supposed to be getting 13 mil, I don't think, out of this. <laughs> I think you're getting like 2.4K. Yes. But I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably do something else, right? But anyways, it says if you were to do that, you can get 44... Basically, 4,000... No, 44... Yeah, 4,404 um, ISK per LP, basically. That's including other charges, potentially. So if we do times whatever we just got here, I, I mean, let's just get another mission here. I forget what it was. Uh, okay, it was like 200 and something. So 245. Let's just say 200. So times 200. Okay, so 880,000. So when you think about that, that's close to a million. So you could think maybe, you know, and these are pretty low level ones right now too, right? So you could pretty much say, eh, you're probably doing about a million per, per run. And that's that's actually not so bad when you think about the LP itself. And that's because we're these ones are pretty low too. I think these go up to about double. And we did two hundred, so we're doing pretty much the lowest possible. So that's that's not so bad when you start adding that up. Obviously, level three is still or level twos are still slow. Level three obviously you get a lot better. Level four apparently is a sweet spot. Obviously, you need a really decent setup and you know you know you need to know what you're doing. It's not just about having the skills. It's not about just having the modules. It's about the skills, the modules, and the your gameplay, your 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 actual skill as a player, you know. Me not orbiting around things properly, me not keeping the right distance, you know, me not paying attention and you know, things like that. Obviously, you know, me wanting to play a big ass tank is probably gonna be consequential because that's probably that's something you're not really supposed to do to begin with. You know what I mean? So uh, as much as I love it, it's probably going to bite me in the ass for it too. So um, it's kind of interesting on that. Now, I wanted to check this out here. So what I do now is uh, I, I don't have to. Um, if there's something here I want to look at or keep because, hey, you know, this was fun, um, I can go ahead and check this out. But overall, I just take this and I just throw it into our ammo. And so I'll get rid of you, throw you into our ammo. And these guys... Um, 
Well, we did get this one here. I'm going to go ahead. Since I only have the 100, I'm going to get rid of it now anyways. We probably have others are stacking. So this is all scrap. Now, this is not considered scrap, is it? Scrap, is it, though? It's called a commodity. So, yeah, so this, this metal scrap existed, I think, before scrapping existed. I'm guessing. I don't know if salvage is something newer, you know, in the 17 years or 18 years of EVE. But my guess is that um, this is newer and you get this as well when you when you salvage two potentially, but I guess they kept it as a commodities instead of relabeling it as the salvage material group. So when you're when you are sorting, I notice it doesn't sit usually beside it. Obviously, you know it's sort by type right now, and it's sitting in commodity section, and then this is the salvage section over here. So it's it's not a big deal, obviously. It's just something you got to keep in mind. That's a, a bit more on the the derpy side and. Uh, well, that was kind of interesting and then you know I take my modules and then boom I go there and there you go and then you know my scrap and everything is slowly slowly adding up here um, it, it's very little um, I've already sold some in the past so that's that's why but the thing is as time goes on this will get bigger and bigger and I like it like I said I do it as long as you're having fun that's what counts I will let you know though what most people say and I, I think maybe low levels it's not so bad because if you're gonna be slow anyways I don't think it's a big issue but from my understanding, the higher you get, the better you get, the faster you can do things, the more that scrapping actually is not valuable because you could make more killing versus, you know, scrapping kind of things. So uh, there's that kind of that margin in that area. So uh, let's go grab uh, another one here. Well, let's do one more here anyway. So uh, this one seems pretty simple. Um, we got to go to the hideout. Rescue to the damsel. So, you know, I go on here and I go to the wiki here. So I'll take this and I'll, I'll put this in here. So this is just the one. It doesn't say level two. Oh, okay. Sometimes the search on the right doesn't work on the wiki. So this is kinetic. So basically we go back to using a kinetic drone. Um, so if we go over to our inventory here. And actually, I already wrote, I have not I should probably paste these somewhere else to make it easier. But kinetic is hornet. So I'll go ahead and I'll dump these guys out of here, right? And I'll put them, and of course, don't forget, you also get your credits from, you get the credits from the mission, but you also get credits for the bounty. And then uh, let's put these in our drone one, and then uh, we're going to take the hornets, and we're going to take those five hornets, and we're going to put them in the drone bay. Awesome. And then there you go. And then we'll accept the mission, and we'll undock, and we'll head there. And that's that's you know that's pretty damn easy that's that's what I do and we know or at least apparently it's kinetic and this is another thing uh, actually somebody made a tip uh, for me the other day about this and it's a really good uh, tip you know obviously keep more uh, you know types of ammo in your inventory and I actually started to think of doing that anyways because my inventory is starting to get to that point where it's not so bad carrying a, a, a load of you know um, of your ammo with you before maybe it was kind of meh but now it's becoming to the part where it's it's not so bad to have a, a load of ammo with me so uh, the reason I went with that one the the one ammo and not this one is because this one's the the lower range this should be the higher range I think yeah this one is the low range so I mean that's okay if you want the lower range actually that low range is not even that bad it's like slightly lower really Oh, because the optimal range of these... These guns are really crappy. These are meant for, like, short range. So low range, the high range, is not really making a big difference. So 89 HP versus, you know... Um, these ones will be probably a lot worse, obviously. I don't think it kicked in. Oh, yeah, because we're... Uh, yeah. Let's switch these out. To... Sorry, what is it? 50, 59, so... Obviously, you know, with that range and everything, you'd be probably better off using the other ammo. Now, it's probably a little more expensive, but uh, what do they say? Time is money, so. That's a cool little feature that they show you there. I actually wish, you know, maybe they had that for the drones. Oh, maybe they do in the other uh, inspection thing, but it doesn't matter. It'd be cool if they showed it on here somewhere or something like that. But anyways, um, so there's our five hornets. We'll get those ready here in a second. So... This one might require to kill a f building of some sort, I think. Uh, Folly objective, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so 
She's being forced to slave labor and blah, 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 and prostitution. I believe it's called the cruel... Okay, the, uh, the pleasure thing. So there's something called the pleasure something here. That's actually what we have to uh, get. So this is where everything's a little messy. So I just go over here. Is it the pleasure hub? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it just disappeared on me. There you go. So we'll go towards that and take that out. So if you're blitzing that, as far as I know, that might be all you need. Uh, so you can go to this thing and start, you know, obviously shooting at it. And then, um, you know, they, this is when you're supposed to, you know, you do your orbit. Or you can hit W and just make sure you set your default orbit to whatever. Actually, that's pretty low, so that's pretty good. And there you go. So we'll start shooting that. Now, I wonder if this one has different uh, damage or whatever. No, it doesn't even show you that kind of information. And then we can launch our uh, our hornets here. And then we can tell him to go at that too. There you go. Let's go back to uh, this interface. I like this one better for this. Oh, did I not tell them to attack that? There you go, F. They probably were still deploying or something when I hit it or I did something else therapy, you never know. And there you go. And there you go. That should be as simple as that. Now your drones can go off and do whatever. Who's the biggest badass? Yeah, I think I'll... See, so if this is all I need, obviously, this cargo and that's it, that would be like the whole point of blitzing, right? You'd be, you'd be done and over with. Okay, there you go. And there you go. You're done. So now I can go back and return that and I'd be done. That being said, I still like to do this part. I just can't help myself, right? So there you go. So let's go ahead and target these guys. My drones are probably wrecking a bunch of them just fine on their own anyways. Oh yeah, there's already two of them already done, so. Oh yeah, they're spread out a bit, but that's fine. We'll see, uh, let's see if the ammo part was at least somewhat right. So, do, 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 so their structure, oh, I was reading this backwards before, I might have derped up on that, whoops. So structure is nothing, armor is, okay. So they have nothing to EM shields, but then armor itself is uh, explosive, so. What were we using? Oh, kinetic. <laughs> I, I, I must be reading this wrong or the the website. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. So I should be doing, uh, you know, say explosive or whatever. It's not a big deal anyways. For these guys, it's not a huge deal. And that's why you bring more uh, weapon, uh, the types. I can just shoot them anyways. And it just means they have more resistance, right? It doesn't mean you can't kill them with uh, the, the gun. I don't know if these guys will send another wave. Probably not. Okay, so return to drone bay. And then there you go. You can send out your scavenger. Oh yeah, they that does that happens sometimes. It, for some reason selected them all. It's like, uh what? Okay, so let's check our inventory. I like to keep this up and then that way you can see. So once again, you know, salvage. There's not going to be anything too exciting for these guys, I know that. Usually when it's something like a lot bigger ships involved, you know, like a lot of 50k uh, bounties, then you're going to start seeing something really exciting coming in the scrapping area. I mean, you still get some stuff here here and there, but I think that's really the key there is to have the, uh, the higher bounty ones show up. But it's still all fun for me, so... You can always do that, just so... Uh, I was hoping that, you know, one would get finished in that time. Okay. There you go. Salvage. Now, you might have to wait between... Because um, I think when they're done salvaging, they bring stuff back into your inventory. So, keep that in mind that if you're salvaging very far away, because you're just being lazy, you, you might actually have to pay from the time it takes from them to go all the way back to hand that in your inventory. I'm not sure if that's the case for salvaging, but it is the case for like things like mining and stuff like that, so. Okay, salvage. So there you go, look at that. We, we didn't do too terrible there. 136K. 
not the best, but you know, it is it is isk after all, right? So you get a little bit out of it. Wait, was this the oh no. This one's just being a pain, okay. Everyone salvage that one. So you can launch your drones too. I use F to attack, right? But you can launch your drones uh, as well with the... Oh, what was the uh, button? I have it here written down. Um, engage is F. Oh, shift alt R is to return in orbit, which I don't really use. Uh, return to drone A is shift R. And then, oh yes, launch drones is shift F. So that makes sense. To attack, you hit F. Shift F to launch them. And then to return, it's R. Basically shift R. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. We, we, we made 139k. I mean, it was a joke, right? Waste of time. And then we have our tractor thing here. Oh, look at that. It made a little bit more today. 171k. So that's not uh, too, too terrible. Oh, there's those Marines. It keeps picking up Marines from time to time. I was wondering about that. Huh. Okay, so we can put those into our inventory. And then you can go ahead and pick this up. Now, if you pick this up without scooping up uh, the items in it, basically it'll just dump a canister in space. And I believe those have like, I believe it's like two hours or something in game time that they can last for. And then uh, obviously you'll lose them. And there we have it. Warp drive active. So pretty, pretty simple, right? Um, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty badass little tank. Um, you know, we don't really ever get missions that are extremely hard. I mean, they come and go from time to time where I have to kill 20 guys. And that's where the salvaging and everything really gets a little more exciting and badass, right? So I should have had my local on this time, but I've been a little lazy. Okay, well, apparently my guys are spending a lot of time in the or Alliance. Well, it might be there because uh, we're in Alliance, right? So um, I think one is like, is that fleet or is this fleet? No, none of those are. Oh, purple's fleet. So green is, I think, our corporation. And then um, the, uh, I guess the bluish one is alliance, I guess. And then uh, the purple one is fleet. So uh, you don't have to join the fleet. The fleet's supposed to be there for, like, um, it's a standing fleet. I guess people usually just join it. And if they're hanging around that part of space, stuff like that, they can alert people of issues or, you know, they can help each other, things like that. So, um, so people hang around in standing fleets quite often, I guess, but, uh, I've never really done anything. Well, we did that one moon mining the one time. So that was pretty cool. But uh, you should keep an eye on your local because you want to make sure there's not like all of a sudden a bunch of reds flashing or something like that. You know, some people are going in there or, or there's a yellow icon or something that's um, they're suspects, I believe it's called. So they, they don't get uh, Concord doesn't take them out. But basically what it means is that um, they've done something wrong and uh, like Talking steal somebody's loot or something. And it means that, you know. Obviously, they're up to no good, and there's no good happening. And then you, you know, you know, you should be a little more worried. There we go. Start conversation here. So we'll complete that one. See what the next one's going to be like, anyways. Here, so, same thing, right? It's a low level one, not exciting at all. That's actually the lower loyalty points than I thought. So they get pretty lower too. Damn. But obviously, when you get to level threes, they'll get a bit better. Um, this is funny because this distribution is not even offered to me yet. This must, I don't know why. Um, there's this level one here. Now, I don't know. I clicked this by accident, so I know I did that. But I went up to uh, activities and journal, and there's these agent missions, and they do offer you uh, these things. And this is probably just because I opened it. It probably doesn't happen, uh, you know, at random. But this one was actually interesting because this one here is, I mean, it's just a simple one, right? Literally, it's a trade one. So take this and drop it off at uh, uh, this this location, right? Simple as that, right? But what what's interesting about it is actually the reward you get on this. Uh, the view, view market details on this reward is actually worth. Well, I mean, people are willing to pay 2.4 mil for it. So and people are selling as cheap as 3.9 here. So and that's just one place. I mean, uh, you know, so you might be able to get a bit more if you were to sell it around at the the actual trade hub. So that's kind of interesting. That's that makes it make you think. Wow. Okay. So that that mission is worth for me grabbing no matter what because obviously I can uh, I can go grab that material now. I need uh, 1500. I don't think I have actually enough of that right now. Um, unfortunately, it would just mean I'd have to mine a bit more, right? 
Uh, yeah, I'm just slightly under. Um, but uh, can you uncompress? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can just go ahead and mine a wee bit. Oh, wait. There you go. Wait, is it that? Oh, yeah. There you go. 15. Oh, there you go. I have 1,500. There you go. And uh, yeah, so I can go ahead in my thing here. So we go again, once again, with the ammo here. Oh, God. What kind of sorting is this today? Okay, let's just use control here. Boom, 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 boom. So we'll put that in our ammos. And then we'll take you to you. And we'll put you into scrap. Take you to you. Put you into scrap. This will be our modules. And then uh, this is junk. Everything, basically. Drones. And then I put this in the main hangar. Because I'm not going to carry this with me while I'm doing this other mission. And then I can go into my or one here and I can drop that into my ship hanger oops make sure you put it in your ship hanger not one of the other ships and there you go so I can accept that one. Oh, you actually have to go there for the mission oh my mistake you know what it might have just popped up then randomly okay so drop off location is there oh, okay so I get a free implant I'm gonna do that quickly we'll we'll cut it and I'll go there Docking request accepted. Okay, so um, available to you. Start conversation here. So, um, so is the drop off here too? I think so. Yeah. I'd say that's uh, that was pretty simple, right? Sorry, I only work with people of trust. Come back, blah blah blah. So that was just like a one off, I guess. So, yeah, I guess I should pay attention to that because that's uh, that's pretty important. So. There you go. We got a nice little implant that's worth uh, just a wee bit of uh, cash there. So, um, yeah, that that is awesome. I like that. So, yeah, keep an eye on that uh, that little agent thing. It'll blink once in a while, whatever. But uh, uh, I don't really pay attention. I get so many spam here. You can actually filter some of this stuff. So you got this encounter stuff and whatnot. But uh, I, I don't really pay attention to it enough. So I easily uh, I easily get uh, confused. Fade delay, stack size. Oh, this is cool. Fade delay. So you can make it last longer. Okay. And this is everything. Like, you know. So, like, contacts. Uh, it's like, I don't need emails. I don't, I don't really need skill training showing up. But, I mean, it happens so little that it's not a big deal, to be honest. So. Interesting. Be kind of cool if I can make it longer. To be honest, like, hey, I, I want it. You can have a bigger stack size, everything else, but you can't. Uh, you can't kind of history visibility, pop up visibility. Oh, I see. So you can have some pop up, but not. You know. Oh, that's cool. So you can do skill training. Okay, I don't want you to pop up, but I want you to be there. Uh, old notifications, I guess, probably don't even work anymore. Um, Hypernet. I don't do those really, so that's fine. In-game, server status, bills, agents. Yeah, this would be the, the, the more interesting one. So agent moved notice, blah, blah, blah. So I like those. I'll keep those on there. What about standings? Is that war maybe? Oh, my goodness. Look at all the different things. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, gosh, there's so much there. Oh, yeah, here you go. You Pilot gain standing warning. Oh, yeah, there you go. Stuff in there, yeah. When it gets that complex, it's like, you know what? I'll just forget about it for now. But anyways, hopefully I'll notice that next time. But it would be up here anyways, and they seem to have a pretty good timer on it. So you just have to check your journal once in a while and uh, see if you uh, got something interesting there. So that one seemed to be specially like maybe a referral. It could have been from doing a certain amount of missions from the one. Then you get those unlocked potentially. That's that's my guess. But hey, I'm the newbie anyway. So uh, anyways, I hope you liked uh, watching that. You know, it's a pretty badass little ship. I love it. It's very tankish. 
Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sure I'm great for level twos. I don't know if I could do level threes yet. I don't even think I would attempt to do a level three. I mean, I could attempt to do a level three, but I think I would have to uh, be careful because I'm pretty sure when you go up in the, the uh, levels, basically, uh, things can get a lot more hairy too. So, um, no, I can't do them yet. I wonder why I can't do any security. So, um, ignore standings. Yeah. So let's do, um, sorry. I want to do our guys, right? Can you really do it for the, like, like NPC faction, like the, uh, pirates and stuff? Cause that's kind of cool. So it's like this person. Why, why can't we do this yet with you guys? I think it's because of this standing, not all oh, the Federation Navy. I have no standing with anyways, but the, uh, the other guys, I should have decent standing now. Federal, was it federal administration or was it the other one? Oh, federal administration, only 2.23. So I might need, um, level three security mission requirements, Eve. Missions. Okay. You need a battle cruise, mining barge, or medium-sized industrial ship, blah, blah, blah. What about... Oh, okay. Uh, common. So level 3 requires... Oh, a standing of 3.0. Okay. So our standing is only 2.23 uh, right now. I haven't really done a lot with them, unfortunately. So I got to work on that. My standings is because I've been going a little bit mixed up with the people I've been doing my standings with. So that kind of makes sense on my side. Um, where was that character... No history, was it? No. Where is the pilot service? I don't think I've noticed this before. Cool. Oh, wow. So I got referred a bit more. I got actually a month and a bit to go. Yes. Thank you, who ever referred me, I guess, two, three times maybe there. Um, okay, combat log. Okay, so security standings. Oh, standings. Here you go. There you go. So I don't know how some of these are up there. You know, you probably start with some standings. Yeah, University of these guys. Look how high they're up. <laughs> That's all right. I'm making friends with everyone, so it's not a big deal. But obviously, I got to get it up there. So what are we trying to do right now? Let's see if we can find the ones we're doing. So, I mean, this is their our main faction, so it goes up slightly. Um, I think it only could go up a certain amount every 20 minutes or something from people told me. Um, but let's go down to federal, um, yeah, this one here, right? So there you go. Like, look at today. So I've actually done quite a bit today. So this is all the way. Oh, it'd be cool if they showed you it, like, highlighted all through here. So this is all from today, right? Oh, wait, no, this is backwards. Sorry. Makes more sense. Oh, never mind. I've only done this today. But look at that. So you got those bumps. So, and I did some yesterday, I think. Yeah. And then I hadn't done anything before. So look at that. Boom, 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 boom. So that big chunk there is all because of that. So that's that's pretty cool. Do they show you, though? They don't, do they? They show you the change. It would have been cool to have. You probably could change it somewhere, the actual number. But, uh, yeah. If you didn't know, you can actually usually copy most of these. So if you hit Control-C, all this data is copied, and then you can dump it into a spreadsheet. I'm not kidding you. Pretty cool for having those kind of features built into the game. But, uh, oh yeah, reprocessing tax reduction and broker fee reduction. So broker fee reduction is amazing, but I don't even think I'm getting it for the place I spend time at. So I should probably do some of their missions eventually, but meh. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.